What is happening guys? Jonathan here, aka Crazy Shadow 303 This is a slightly different video um, If you've seen my Hull City uh, match review yesterday You'd know that this is a prediction video um, But it's not just predicting uh, tomorrow's game against Derby No, this is predicting the final five games of the season and how it will all pan out in terms of who gets promoted to the Premier League automatically and who has to settle for playoffs. Um, obviously, it's from an Albion point of view, so I'm going to read off Albion's final five games and, you know, let's see if we can try and work all this out. If you like this video, guys, um, don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe to Crazy Shadow 303 if you haven't already done so. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to join my shadow squad and get notified on all new content on the channel. As I said last night, more gaming content on the way. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed. And yeah, I've got all my notes here. So um, let's try and uh, let's try and work this out, shall we? Um, I've got the um, stand the current standings uh, for the top of the table. Bearing in mind that Brentford and Fulham have already played today and they both won. With Fulham beating Forest 1-0, uh, which helps them and slightly hinders Nottingham Forest. I don't think we're going to be too worried about Forest now from an Albion perspective, to be honest. Um, I don't really see Forest, you know, overtaking us. Um, it's just Fulham and Brentford. And, yeah, Brentford... Coming from two from one nil down to win two one, albeit a bit of a contentious penalty decision. Uh, let's just say Tom Daly would be proud of Ben Rama tonight. <laughs> you know, but you know, Chal Charlton fans have got their opinions. I've seen everything on social media after Brentford's game. Charlton fans have had their say. We've had our say. Even Leeds have had their say. So, yeah, let me know in the comments below, guys, if you've seen the uh, Ben Rama incident in the Brentford against Charlton game today for their first goal, which set them on the way to winning the match. You know, was it a penalty? Wasn't it a penalty? I don't think it was. I think, you know, I hate to say the D word, but I think Ben Rama kind of dived there. <laughs> Some people won't agree with that, but that's my personal opinion. You know, like I said, Tom Daly would be proud. Uh, but enough about Brentford for the moment. Uh, currently, Leeds, Leeds are first on 78 points. Uh, we're second, just a point behind on 77. And then Brentford, after that contentious win tonight, they're two points behind us on 75. And Fulham are in fourth on 73 after beating Forest, who are in fifth. Um, I've worked out the maximum amount of points that each team can get. So Leeds, their maximum is 93 points. We're 92. Uh, Brentford, now this is the magic number for us. Brentford's maximum is 87 points. We're currently on 77 points, meaning we need 11 points more just to guarantee outright automatic promotion. You know, and uh, yeah, Fulham's maximum is 85. So, yeah, 87 is the magic number for Albion, guys. Keep that in mind during this video. 87. Uh, so, yeah, we've got Derby tomorrow at the Hawthorns. Last time out, um, Derby are currently 7th, so they've got their own playoff hopes, you know, still intact. You know, they could they could beat Cardiff 2-6, you know, but we've got to beat them. You know, I would say we've got to beat them, but I'm being realistic with these predictions here. Uh, last time out, we drew 1-1. Way back in August, seems like an age ago now, doesn't it? Way back in August last year, we drew 1-1 at Pride Park. Uh, tail of two penalties, really. Or rather, three penalties because, um, you know, um, I think it was Kravinovic. I, I still remember the incident. Kravinovic, you know, he 
had a shoulder, to, like he put his shoulder on the ball, like to control it, and the linesman flipping flag for a handball when it was the shoulder, you know. But yeah, luckily that was the penalty that they didn't score from, but they had a penalty beforehand and scored. And then we, to be honest, looking back on it, yes, it was a contentious penalty on our part. The, ref the referee and the linesman was absolutely diabolical that day. And we get a penalty, which is a whore dispatched. And yeah, that was 1-1. To be honest, I would say that was a fair result. But then again, I am Albion biased. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, we drew 1-1 at Pride Park. Um, their danger man, come on. Who else but Wayne Rooney is going to be Derby County's danger man right now? You know, uh, watch out for his free kicks because, you know, he's put them in for the likes of Everton, Manchester United. He even put one in for Derby literally last weekend. So, yeah, Wayne Rooney, no question about it, is their danger man. No disrespect to the rest of the team. But, you know... Derby County, it's practically Team Rooney now. Uh, so yeah, Wayne Rooney, their danger man. Um, I'm predicting for this game a 1-1 one, one draw. Uh, that would gain us another point. Um, so we get to 78. We'd be free ahead of Brentford then. You know, this, this is these predictions are all assuming that Brentford win all their games, all their remaining games. They've got four left. So their maximum, 87. You know, this is assuming they'd win the rest of their games. So a 1-1 one -one draw tomorrow with Derby County. I'm saying Pereira to score our goal and obviously Rooney to score theirs. Um, and yes, yeah, 78, 78 points at the end of tomorrow. That's what I'm predicting. Then we go in Saturday. Oh my days. This I'm I'm watching I'm watching Sky Sports right now, um, Cardiff Blackburn, and this is this is relevant because this Saturday we face Blackburn. They're playing Cardiff right now as this video is recording, and we play we're their next game. So we play Blackburn at Ewood Park. They're currently eleventh, although it's just said on the screen that they're winning three two after coming from like two one down and one nil down. So Blackburn are actually in front at the moment. Um, so that's a bit worrying. But yeah, they were currently 11th when I made my notes. So I'm just going off what's on here. <laughs> Last time out, I remember the day. A 3-2 win to the Albion back in August. Phillips, Livermore and Dean Garner, all three goals. In fact, all the goals were in the first half. The second half... Don't know what happened, but no one scored in the second half. It was 3 2 at half time, 3 2 at full time. But yeah, Phillips, Livermore, Dean Garner. We completed our undefeated August um, by beating Blackburn. And yeah, what a day that was for at the Hawthorns. What a day. Uh, <laughs> their danger man, um, he has scored tonight, Danny Graham. Um, yeah, watch out for him. He, I'm predicting he's going to be their danger man, uh, Danny Graham. He has already scored today, so yeah, we've got to watch it. Uh, but I predict a 2-0 win. You know, I'm predicting 2-0, and for that game, I'm predicting Charlie Austin and Grzyski to get another goal to add to the goal he scored against Hull on Sunday. Uh, so yeah, 2-0 win, that's another three points on the board, that would leave us on 81 points. Um, then, next Tuesday, literally next week, we face Fulham. That is going to be crucial, you know. Albion against Fulham at the Hawthorns, that is going to be absolutely crucial. Um, last time out, back in September, it was a 1-1 draw. Um... A J with literally 10 minutes to go. Fulham, I think, scored in the first half. And a J with literally... They're off again, just like last night. <laughs> 10 minutes to go, a J puts it in, I think, from a corner. But, you know, I can't really remember 
too much about that goal against Fulham back in September. Um, so yeah, last time out, 1-1. One, one. Their danger man now, I'm not sure what has happened here, but I knew Mitrovic was being investigated by the EFL for an incident in a recent game. Um, he may have a ban. He may be banned for this game. I don't know. He may not. If he's not banned, Mitrovic is Fulham's danger man. But if he is banned, I think Harry Arta will be. He had scored tonight. He has scored tonight. That only goal against Nottingham Forest today. Um, but yeah, so it's either Mitrovic if he's playing or Harry Arta if Mitrovic is suspended. Um, but, you know, it's crucial, but I'm predicting a 2-2 draw against Fulham. Um, I'm saying Livermore and Pereira with, the, with our two goals. Uh, but yeah, I'm thinking, if, if, if Mitrovic is playing, then he's going to score both their goals. Or if he's not playing then Harry Arter might score both their goals, you know. But I am predicting a 2-2 draw. That would be another point, which leaves us on 82. By this time, we may have dropped to third, you know. But have faith, Baggies fans. <laughs> because the final two games, you know, Saturday the 18th, away to Huddersfield. Uh, they are currently 18th, but we've... Teams around and playing, you know, that's a bit up in the air at the moment. But they are, you know, without a doubt, in a relegation dogfight. And they haven't really improved since we beat them at the Hawthorns 4-2. You know, that was a, it was a Sunday, the sun was shining. And, yeah, back in September, we absolutely nailed Huddersfield 4-2. You know, uh, Phillips with two goals, Furlong and Ajay. You know, in the last minute. And, yeah. Their danger man, I'm predicting, is Carlin Grant. You know, he's been, I think, the best player in a poor team. You know, no disrespect to Huddersfield, but he has been their best player. Um, So, yeah. But still, 3-0, resounding 3-0 win to the Baggies against Huddersfield. I don't see no... Further improvement for Huddersfield. They might just survive the relegation battle. But, you know, I don't see much improvement from when they lost um, to us at the Hawthorns 4-2. So I'm predicting 3-0 at the John Smiths. Um, which will be another three points, which leaves it 85. Now, this is the thing. Again, by this time, Brentford could have won. And they'd been second behind Leeds, I mean, I'm not saying Leeds will win every game, you know, from here, Brentford could be top with one game to go, you know, that's how close this promotion fight is now, you know, after like the first half of the season, pre-lockdown, when Leeds and Albion were running away with it, but yeah, um, so we'd have 85 points, by this time, well, in fact, they might have 84 with one game to go. I've just worked it out in my head. They would, with one game to go, if all these predictions come out, they'd be on 84 and we'd be on 85. So it would come down to the final day, which is Wednesday the 22nd of July, at the Hawthorns, against Queen's Park Rangers. Now, you say Queen's Park Rangers at the Hawthorns, and what do you think of? 7-1. What a freaking day that was, eh, you Baggies fans? We destroyed them 7-1 last time they were at the Hawthorns. So the Omens are good. And even when we faced them earlier this season, back in September, we won 2-0. Uh, they're currently 14th at the moment. Uh, the now departing Nathan Ferguson scored the first goal against them. And then Pereira's free kick. Oh my days. I said it in the uh, Bristol City vlog, if you remember, way back then. That I said that his free kick against Bristol City 
similar position to how he scored against QPR. And what happened? He banged them both in. Both free kicks he banged in. So, yeah. I haven't seen much of QPR um, recently, but I know that Hugh Gill um, has been playing pretty decent for them, I think. Uh, so, I'm naming Hugh Gill as their danger man. I'm not too sure about the entire QPR team, you know, how they're, they're shaping up, you know, what their current condition is, you know, because I haven't really seen many QPR games this season, to be honest. So I am predicting if he does play, um, Hugh Gill as their danger man. But still, a 2-0 win. Another 2-0 win against QPR. Um, I think to round it all off, to finish it, Charlie Austin with two goals on the last day of the season. Which would leave us on 88 points. Brentford would be on 87 points. We would be promoted to the Premier League by a single point. That is my prediction, guys. West Bromwich Albion, and I don't even know what Leeds is going to do during all this. To be honest, I haven't... Um, Focused on that part of the battle. Uh, but I am predicting West Bromwich Albion to get automatically promoted to the Premier League by a single point on Brentford. So yeah, guys. Fingers crossed. In these last five games, I'm saying three wins and two draws. And we would have done it. You know, by a single point. Here's hoping, hey Baggies fans, if you like this video, please, please, please leave a like, subscribe to Crazy Shadow 303 if you haven't already done so, and don't forget to hit that bell icon to join my Shadow Squad and get notifications on all new content on the channel, both Albion related and gaming, and yeah, here's hoping that... You know, we get two draws and three wins out of the last five games. We cannot lose any more. Bottom line is, we cannot lose any more. So, I reckon Brentford will finish in the playoffs. Or, you never know. There's so much uncertainty. It might be Albion and Brentford even getting auto-promoted with us as champions and Brentford as runners-up and Leeds bottling it again. You never know. Sorry, Leeds fans. But yeah, <laughs> it is that close, isn't it? It's that damn close. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And yeah, here's hoping, guys. Yeah, here's hoping. Boing, boing. See you in the next video very soon. Bye for now.